Hey, yo, what's going on with him once again? Bros, women, bronies, and pegs. This is the one, the only course, Mr. Nintendo Swim Free 2011, aka Gurus and Guy 2009. Of course, you guys have noticed this interesting channel before. Again, go to check out freedomnumber.com. Of course, drop a look at the studios.net. If any people want a special channel, banner design, and picture specifically made just for you, I'll put links to all their social media networking and accounts in the description box down below. Definitely check out the business partnership program, best partnership ever had. Definitely check them on Google as well. And with that said, um, links to all the information I'm about to share with you guys will be in the link description box down below, like I just said. And of course, the invitation on the side that you guys just finished seeing a couple seconds ago. So, without further ado, let's begin and let's get into this bitch. So, as most of you guys know, um, as some of you guys know, I'm, I'm assuming maybe some of you know, um, this one man, I think his name was Daniel Sinclair or also known on the Sony PlayStation Network as um, Rough Dog 4, um, he actually got over 40,000 trophies. I'm thinking to myself, this is a very interesting article I should cover. So I decided, you know what? Why not cover to cover this really amazing, like really awesome story article for you guys? And this is about two weeks old, so um, it's kind of old news already, but I feel like it's still relevant, and it's in the exact same month of this year. And um, it's literally the last day of August so it's probably gonna go out to September 1st so it's gonna be probably like two and a half weeks old by the time I'm done uploading it so yeah that's pretty much a thing so other than that that's the first article I'm gonna cover the second one was actually pretty big I actually did a video reaction review for it and that is Activision's brand new game from the Sony um, PS4 and of course um, Xbox One for Microsoft's um, gaming company development which is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 the skater trip skater trials um, trailer and I thought it was really freaking amazing dude even though I was kind of half asleep when I did that it's already been a couple hours since I've done that video so I'm a lot more wide awake I'm a lot more energetic a little bit more oomph into my fucking um, <laughs> personality right now so anyways um, ladies and gentlemen I got the article right over there, so just give me one second to go get that. And I'm gonna be covering this thing. I'm gonna put the link to description box down below if you wanna read the article on your own or any annotation aside. I might have to do a two part in this just in case anything comes up. So, first place I got this from was from, I would've been on GameSpot, um, but I'm gonna do the other one first actually. This one was from a different website. I don't remember what it was. I think it was GamingUsWeekly.net. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Hold on. Let me... Oh, there it is. So, yeah. This is from PushSquare.com. Excuse me. And the article was from Sammy, Sammy Barker. This was on August 24th of 2015. And... The article quotes and it states for this title or whatever meet the man with 40,000 PlayStation 4 or PS3 PS4 trophies platinum unlocked and it goes on to say most of the article I didn't read write most of the article I pretty much just like I only did like half of it uh, you guys could watch I mean not watch you guys could like read it on their own because it was about four or five pages long there was no way in hell I was gonna write all that shit down so um yeah if you want to learn more about it um, it's down there just in case you want to um, finish reading the rest of it off So it's, it starts off as it's a warm it's a warm yet rainy evening in New Hampshire But Michael Sinclair aka raw dog 4 is Is uninterested in the weather. He's got his DualShock PS3 controller in his hands His gaze is fixed at a nearby TV screen while night chronicles Night Chronicles, the often forgotten PS3 collaboration between Japan Japan Studios and Level 5 EST Entertainment, the focus is, <clears throat> is his attention. He's working on his 887th Platinum Trophy. And then he goes on to say, which is the PS4 user that has all these trophies, um, Daniel Sinclair, the big challenge is with the game is that <clears throat> the online Online servers are down, unquote. He mutters over the screen action, and then he goes to say again, because of this, the misconception about the game is that you cannot play Platinum, which it will not, but is actually not true, unquote. He glances away from the scene and shoots us a smile, and he goes to say once again, quote, it's still possible, just a lot harder, unquote. Despite having a PSN profile over 
flowing with an expert at inducing achievements. The 32-year-old appears to have this method, his, his match. And he goes on to say one more thing, quote, I'm not sure that I cannot finish this for an S rank question quest that are much more harder than I have anticipated. The S rank questions are a lot more harder than I anticipated. As you're supposed to have a team, as you're supposed to have a team. However, I am determined to beat it, unquote. At the, same, at the time of the publications, though, however, um, he has not co coveted the platinum trophy that remains locked. So, yeah, there's that first part. The Tony Hawk one's a little bit longer, so I wouldn't blame you if you guys want to read it on your own. This one's from Polygon. I'm pretty sure it's from there. So, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 review by um, Polygon.com. The article was from Michael Mitt. Weeder. So shout out to Michael with Weeder from creating and writing and developing this article on his own. I'll put the link to that um, description box and description box below, of course, to the link in the description box below, excuse me. And um, I might have to do a second part of this, so just be aware of that. Uh, let's see. And I almost lost my spot. Whew, thank God. This was from May 7th of 2015. Holy shit, that was almost like four months ago. Damn. Today, Activision finally revealed more details on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, uh, the skaters. The next entry in the skateboarding only Tony Hawk's on sports, on the whole sports <clears throat> franchise, and offered a new look at some reimagined classic, reimagined classic pro skater environments. And about the time of the new <clears throat> Starter shocks, or skater shocks, excuse me. Or actually, no, for the new screenshots. There we go. From Tony Hawk's Pro Skaters, we end up getting a sneak peek of the new, of some of the new and some of the familiar settings of the warehouse and school, where countless, <clears throat> countless combos have happened. Activision has com has confirmed that the list of pro skaters that will be skating professionally alongside Tony Hawk and the Pro Skater Series 5 will be Nijin Jones, Nijin Houston or Hodgson, I forgot how to say the last name, I don't know, um, Riley Hawk, aka, AKA Jaws, and then Aaron Jaws Ho Homoki, Aishad Weyer, Leticia Bufanani, I think that's Italian or something, or Spanish, I don't know, Chris Cole, David Gonzalez, Andrew Reynolds, and Lizzie Armado. And then Tony Hawk actually ends up going on, quote unquote, saying, um, <clears throat> skateboarding has always been the freedom of ripping it with your friends and creating a game that captures that feeling has been a vision of mine since the Pro Skater series had began over 15 years ago, unquote. Tony Hawk ends up having in a statement and he goes up to say, Mr. Hawk himself, the legend himself, I'm beyond excited to see the that the yeah, yeah let me start it again. I am beyond excited to see that dream finally come true with Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 Skaters, which takes on an old school attitude of the original games online in a big way. Unquote. Activision says that the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game will be be out sometime this year. The publisher did not quote and end up making a statement saying whether the P it will be on the PS3 and Xbox One editions, if they are coming or not. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Um, like I said in my reaction for my Tony Hawk um, Skater Trials like um, reaction video that I did the, the other day, just the other day, if any people didn't see, I'll put it down there below. I was extremely overhyped. I was very happy with this um, thing. I I'm really glad that they brought some of those things back. They brought the cash money back in. They brought that feature back. They brought the skate collection thing back they brought a lot of the really old school levels back that i grew up with as a 90s kid so this is really cool stuff it only took me like two three weeks to beat a lot of the old school tony all games except for underground and american wasteland those took about two three months to beat they were a lot more harder to beat than um other tony tony all games obviously apparently and um my own personal thoughts on it i'm really really glad that they decided to do this this is really fucking amazing ass news i cannot wait to get my hands on this motherfucker so bad because I do have the PS4, so I'll be able to play this thing. If it doesn't come off the PS3, that's okay. You know, it's all good. I, I still use it for my Blu-ray DVD stuff, so. No harm, no foul there. So, last two things I really want to say about this is that 
I'm really glad that Tony Hawk decided to like make this like franchise. He decided to breathe life into this again because it's a very old school nostalgic. You know, the feels are real for me with this game. Like, I mean, I was really big into Pokemon back in the day and Donkey Kong, Super Mario Bros, a lot of the Yoshi Islands, um, Kirby N64, the Crystal Skulls, or the Crystal um, Shards um, game, along with Nightmare Dreamland, the Sonic Game Boy Advance games. I was in a lot of different types of variations of video games for. Anything that was Sony PS1, PS2 related, or NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, or GameCube related. At that time, as a 90s and early 2000s kid. So, to see this come to light, it's just, literally, it feels like Christmas in July for me right now. Even though it's barely going to be September pretty soon. So, um, yeah. Really cool shit. I'm really glad that Activision decided to like, partner up with Tony Hawk again and make this thing. The only gripe that I have, my pet peeve, is that it's not going to be for the Wii U, which kind of sucks ass, but hey, this is what it is, you know, um, at least it's on console that I actually own, which eventually I am going to own the Wii U one of these days, I really got to get that motherfucker on top, I honestly do, because if I get a used Wii U, I know it's going to break down on me after about a month or two, that's why I'm trying, I want to try to purchase it when it's brand new, even if it's like, I think it's 250 $300 right now, um, I would, be, I would buy it, but the thing is, kind of a tight budget for me right now to spend that much money on a certain thing um but anyways ladies and gentlemen and as most of you could probably tell it's starting to get darker now you've probably seen the color scheme change that's all i have to say um shout out to the guy that got forty thousand or more P playstation 3 playstation 4 trophies daniel sinclair you're a really cool ass guy i um, big dog four you were really really rough dog four you're a real awesome dude for getting that many achievements and me being a completionist slash trophy achievement hunter from one trophy hunter or another, you're awesome as fuck. You are a badass. Thumbs up for you. And that's it. Links in the description box down below to all this information and the video I reacted to a while back. Actually, about a day ago, really. And uh, citing the annotation as well. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and packs sisters. We'll see you when I see you guys every day, every night, wherever I run the world. We'll drink smoke away at the same time. Don't let the reckless keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it life out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out, ladies and bye. Stay tuned, more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And with that said, you guys um, <clears throat> stay in the grind, stay safe, stay healthy, stay easy. Be easy for you, dude, yourself. Peace out. I'm out. Sauerkraut, I'm gone. I'm getting the hell out of here. As always, people. Stay tuned for more future content on this channel. And as always, stay tuned for more updates. Talk to you guys soon. I'm out. Uh, let me know how you think down there. Like, comment, sub. And I will see you guys next time. Deuces.